September 12, 2025. A routine night for astronomers explodes into history. The SH spacecraft's SWAN instrument, designed to scan the heavens for ultraviolet light, picks up something so massive, so luminous, that it forces even veteran scientists to stop cold. On the data stream, a streak cuts across the solar system. Not faint, not ordinary, but blazing, colossal. Its tail stretches five times wider than the full moon as seen from Earth, a ribbon of cosmic fire sweeping across the constellation Virgo, visible even to backyard telescopes. At first, the object seems like an unusually large comet, a visitor from the far edges of our cosmic neighborhood. But then, another report arrives. A second object, 3I-ATLAS, already on course for a close solar pass, now appears to be converging with this new intruder. Two objects, two different origins, two vastly different compositions. Yet both are racing toward the same star within the same narrow 10-day window. The odds? Statistically microscopic. The implications? Unsettling. Scientists call it swan. Amateurs call it a fortress. But around the world, one question dominates the night sky. Is this a natural wonder or something engineered? Because in the vast darkness above us, Swan isn't just approaching. It's closing in on three I slash A-T-L-A-S. And what happens next could change everything we think we know about the solar system. Subscribe now to stay with us. Because what comes next could rewrite space history. This isn't the first time Earth has been shaken by a visitor from the stars. In 2017, Oumuamua, a cigar-shaped rock, tore through our solar system at an impossible speed. It reflected sunlight strangely, accelerated in ways no natural comet should, and left scientists arguing whether we'd just witnessed the first probe from another civilization. Now, eight years later, the debate has returned with a vengeance. 3i slash ATLAS first spotted earlier this year was already causing controversy. Its chemical makeup didn't fit any known comet class. Nickel without iron, carbon dioxide emissions dominating over water, behavior so strange that some researchers quietly whispered, artificial. And then came Swan. Unlike Oumuamua, Swan isn't faint. It's dazzling. Unlike Atlas, it isn't small. It's colossal. And unlike anything in modern astronomical records, Swan has arrived in near-perfect synchrony with Atlas. The significance is impossible to overstate. Most long-period comets appear centuries or millennia apart. The chances of two arriving simultaneously, from completely different sky sectors, are like flipping a coin a million times and landing heads every time. History offers chilling parallels. In 1994, comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 shattered into fragments and slammed into Jupiter one by one in a sequence of fiery impacts. Humanity watched in awe as giant plumes rose higher than Earth's diameter. It was a reminder. Cosmic coincidences can leave scars. That's why agencies worldwide are on edge. NASA, the European Space Agency, and China's rapidly expanding observatories all have eyes on SWAN and ATLAS. But so do defense departments, intelligence analysts, and even political leaders. Because if these objects aren't just icy rocks, the implications reach far beyond science. On September 12, 2025, the SWAN instrument aboard the SH spacecraft scanned ultraviolet emissions. Suddenly, an object blazed into view. Early data revealed something extraordinary, a tail stretching two and a half degrees across the sky, five times the width of the full moon. For perspective, imagine a glowing sword stretching from horizon to horizon, dwarfing everything else in the night sky. Its magnitude was logged at 7.4, bright enough for small backyard telescopes, even binoculars. Within hours, amateur astronomers scrambled to confirm. In Australia, a photograph captured a streak so vast it nearly spilled off the camera's field of view. By September 13th, the International Astronomical Union officially named it C-2025R2-SWAN. SWAN isn't just bright, 
It's staggering. Energy output, estimates as high as 10,000 gigawatts, more than Earth's entire electrical grid. Orbital period, 22,554 years, meaning its last pass occurred during the last ice age, when glaciers covered much of the northern hemisphere. Orbital period, 22,554 years, meaning its last pass occurred during the last ice age, when glaciers covered much of the northern hemisphere. But Swan wasn't alone. Three I slash ATLAS discovered months earlier was inbound from an entirely different quadrant of the sky. Unlike Swan's fortress-like brightness, Atlas is smaller, but it breaks the rules. Spectrographs show nickel dominance with almost no iron. CO2 emissions outpace water by a factor of five. Most mysteriously, it shows stepwise accelerations, bursts of speed every two weeks, as if powered by thrusters. Their perihelion dates, October 17th for Atlas, October 20th for Swan, fall within three days of each other. Their solar distance at closest approach is less than 50 million kilometers, closer than Mars ever gets to Earth. The astronomy community erupted. Amateurs filled forums with images, brightness data, and speculation. Professionals published preprints suggesting orbital synchrony defies statistical randomness. Some gave Swan its nickname, the Fortress. Its resilience against solar radiation, its metallic spectral hints, and its massive scale suggested something armored, something engineered. But just as global excitement peaked, an inconvenient truth emerged. From October 8th to 18th, both Swan and Atlas would pass closest to the sun, exactly when Earth-based telescopes are blinded by solar glare. This blackout window meant the most critical moments of their convergence would unfold unseen. Officially, it's simple physics. Telescopes can't peer into the sun's brightness. But leaked memos told another story. Internal communications from NASA and ESA quietly instructed teams to suspend high-resolution radar scans during the blackout. Data requests were delayed, public statements were postponed, even alternative proposals for radio coverage were denied without explanation. It wasn't just a natural blind spot, it was silent. That left amateurs scrambling. Bill Gray, a respected orbital tracker, rallied global networks of backyard astronomers. Encrypted forums buzzed with calls to keep watch using makeshift equipment. Wide field cameras, radio telescopes, even repurposed weather satellites. Why would agencies enforce silence at the exact moment Swan and Atlas converge? Were officials worried about public panic? Or had they seen something in the early data that suggested these weren't ordinary comets at all? The blackout added fuel to conspiracy fires. If Swan is armored, if Atlas is maneuvering, then their near-simultaneous arrival isn't a coincidence. It's a rendezvous. When Swan and Atlas emerge from behind the sun, the first images won't come from NASA or ESA. They'll come from amateurs, independent networks, small observatories, even hobbyists. Space agencies may plan follow-up missions, but funding and politics are slow. In the meantime, speculation runs wild. If Swan's reflectance data truly shows nickel-cobalt alloys, it suggests something constructed, chosen for durability and resistance, just like spacecraft hulls on Earth. If Atlas's thrust-like accelerations are real, then we may be watching two different technologies converging. NASA wants transparency, but political pressures loom. China, with its Chang'e program and lunar ambitions, sees Swan as a test of space dominance. ESA wants collaboration but lacks funding. Military analysts whisper about national security threats if either object is artificial. What if Swan and Atlas are linked probes, fortress and scout, designed to meet at the sun for data transfer? What if this cycle repeats every 22,554 years, meaning ancient civilizations may have witnessed similar convergences, their myths preserving fragments of memory? What if the blackout isn't just a coincidence, but part of a deliberate attempt to prevent humanity from watching the first interstellar rendezvous in recorded history? A colossal visitor. A mysterious convergence. 
and a blackout at the very moment the truth should be revealed. Swan and Atlas are more than icy bodies. They've become symbols of how little we know, of how much we fear, and of how desperately we watch the sky for answers. The fortress and the drone, the tank and the scout, two travelers from different corners of the galaxy meeting at our sun in a dance that may be a cosmic coincidence or cosmic design. When they re-emerge from the sun's glare, the world will hold its breath. Because the question won't just be what they are, it will be what they're doing. Are they comets shaped by gravity and ice? Or are they something else? Probes, messengers, or machines on a mission older than civilization itself? For now, the sky holds its secrets. But soon, when the glare fades, we may learn if Swan and Atlas are the most extraordinary natural wonders ever witnessed, or the first message from the stars. <laughs>